And joining me now is writer and broadcaster Esther Kraku. Esther, welcome back and, and happy Easter. Look, the events of the last few weeks, there seems to finally be a thawing perhaps in the relationship between the Sussexes and the Palace. We understand Harry is due to visit the UK soon. When is he due to arrive and what can we expect perhaps by way of a reunion with the family? Well, very happy Easter to you too. I think if the events of the last few weeks have shown us anything, it's that the, the relationship is anything but thawing. Uh, so we understand that the Sussexes um, were only informed of, of Princess Catherine's cancer diagnosis um, after the media had been informed, so after she'd released that that video statement. We know that Harry is due to come to the UK in, in May uh, to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the Invictus Games. Um, we're not sure whether Meghan will be joining him. Obviously, his family coming to the UK has been a huge security concern for for Prince Harry, and this is why he's he's taken the Home Office to court, and he subsequently lost his case. Uh, Meghan is is marked as to be confirmed uh, on the guest list, so she is on the guest list, but she hasn't yet confirmed, and we're not sure whether the children will join them as well. I think it really does. It is quite telling the fact that the the uh, Waleses didn't feel the need to tell uh, Harry and Meghan about Princess Catherine's diagnosis. I think it shows that the tr the, the trust is just completely gone, and I think it will take a while um, for the current state as quo to, to decalcify, if you will. Um, I'm personally of the opinion that uh, for you know the Prince and Princess of Wales, Harry and Meghan are really not high on their, their priority list at all. Um, you can imagine any the kind of stress that just being around them and the potential of, of, media, of news leaks um, would, would cause, uh, how, how much stress that would cause to Princess Catherine, and that's not a good thing uh, given her current condition. So I think I actually suspect that there will probably be even greater distance between uh, the, the brothers' families um, now that, you know, William is prioritised with taking care of his wife and his father and taking on more duties alongside the Queen. I actually think this is probably the furthest that the, the Sussexes and the Waleses will be uh, for a long time. Now, we understand that Meghan is actually quite anxious about returning to England. And, and look, given how unedifying her behaviour has been over the last two years, it can hardly be a surprise uh, that she's nervous about making landfall in the UK. Well, I think she, she's made it clear that <clears throat> joining the royal family and taking on royal duties and and kind of being part of the fold was not really something either she had thought through very well or that she was really her heart was really into um she has she's made a point of not returning to the uk whether it's for the same security concerns that prince harry has i'm not entirely sure i suspect she knows her personal popularity in the uk as well is not very high uh fortunately we're not the kind of country to throw eggs at someone but i think i think you'll know if you're in a crowd and and, and someone doesn't like you um and she i don't think she's had much reason to come to the uk she doesn't have a very good relationship with her in-laws she's made it very clear um, that she's not fond of the institution I'm actually surprised that she she continues to use the, the her title particularly for her new brand America Riviera Orchard where it looks like she'll be the first royal to to be selling pet food um, but I, I don't think that she's very keen on the UK I think the, the relationship has mutually soured um, and I, I think it has little less to do with security concerns and more to do with the fact that she knows her personal popularity is probably at its lowest here in the UK